Hi everyone, my name is Faiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply and use Kata compound modifier inside 3D Super Max by using low poly twist um, and how to create an alpha channel inside Photoshop. So uh, to start uh, this tutorial, I move into Photoshop. So in Photoshop, we have to create our tree image. So here I have uh, an an image uh, with isolated background so what we have to do is we have to uh, pick the eyedropper tool and pick of the uh, to pick uh, one of the three color and then create new layer and just open just paint over the layer and move the layer behind the trees and we don't need this layer just delete it so now we have to save this Tree image as a JPEG format and name it as 301 and then just save it and maximum okay after saving the image uh, I'm going to create uh, an, alpha, an alpha channel for this tree so to create an alpha channel just uh, while pressing control key uh, click on the tree this layer thumbnail and then it will select the outline of the tree and then go to the channels, create new channels, and then just pin uh, with white, and then and then create new file, and then Control A for select all, Control C for copy. Move to the new file, just paste all of it, and then uh, save this other channel as an image file. Here I'm. Uh, going to save it in JPEG format also just name it as alpha channel and then click save maximum ok and then moving on to 3D Studio Max here inside 3D Studio Max I'm going to draw a plane for the tree so now here I have a plane I'm going to change the parameter of it I'm going to move it and maximum the viewpoint to the stand. Now I'm going to apply the materials onto this plane. So go to the material editor, click one of the FT slot, understand it, click on the diffuse uh, box, click on bitmap, choose the image, tree image, and then click open. And then go to the image again under maps. I'll go to the opacity and select the B map and select the upper channel. And then don't forget to under this uh, maps go to the extended parameters and change the advanced transparency. Uh, advanced transparency and for in the fall off setting just turn it out and increase the amount to 4 and then uh, assign material to the selection and don't forget to show standard map in the viewport and then click, uh, close it and now we have um, our bmap tree with a transparent background so now I'm going to make uh, multiple planes. So what we have to do is we have to rotate this plane uh, three, uh, two times. So I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. Like that. Oh, I forget to uh, press shift while rotate it. So press the shift to make copy and then rotate it to 45 like that and make two copy of it oops let me do it again press shift rotate it uh, to 45 and make three copy of it. Yep, like that. And then go to perspective mode. 
now we have a uh, uh, multiple planes that to create a like uh, 3D appearance when we render it. So now what we have to do is we have to attach all this plane uh, to make it into a single object. So what we have to do is click one of the plane uh, like that and go to the modifier list and apply edit poly onto one of the planes and just click attach just click attach all the planes together like that okay okay now we have uh, a single tree now what we have to do is we have to create uh, a landscape and to make these trees scattered all over the landscape so what we have to do is go to the create panel under the under the geometry under the plane I'm going to draw a big area of landscape now I'm going to draw a plane like that and I'm going to make the segment to 30 like that and to make this landscape be more looks more organic I'm going to apply noise modifier onto it go to modifier list and select noise modifier and increase the Z value to 100 I'm going to increase it even more to 3000 yep and then I am going to increase the scale to make it become like that Okay, now I'm going to change the landscape color to green. Now what I'm going to do is, let's move this to the side first. I'm going to scatter this tree over this landscape surface. So um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply the scatter compound modifier. Uh, and then, but first, uh, you need to apply X-Link uh, modifier first so this tree is aligned on top of this uh, landscape surface so to do to do it let me show you how to do it so go to the modifier panel and select link X form here and pick control object and pick the landscape and just move it uh, oh, just move it into the Z value, make it into zero, and then close. So this set this the point of this tree to be aligned when we scatter it on top of the on top of this landscape. So now uh, we're going to apply scatter compound modifier go to the quick panel quick tab under geometry go to the compound objects and choose scatter and here while we use selecting this tree click on the pick distributor object pick the landscape and then roll out to the under the scroll down and you have to change the parameters of this uh, compound objects you have to uncheck this perpendicular and under display you have to check height distribution object like that and under source object parameters you have to increase the duplicate to scatter to spread it all over the surface you can change it as area and 
increase it even more to make it more randomly yeah like that you can change the different setting but I'm happy with this so when we finish we can render it to look how it looks like yep it's very small but it's okay then let's zoom in to make it render it again now we have uh, all these three apply on this uh, surface of the plane and scatter it all over the landscape so that's all for the tutorial thank you